Hey what's up guys welcome back in this good tutorial we show how to create this glitch transition in after it so let's get started okay guys i have these two footages so let's just drag and drop to create a new composition from this footage and i will put this my other footage as well just like that now let's find the place to where we need our glitch transition so i'm gonna go to two seconds and just drag this top footage right here so we have this two footage first one and this is the second one so this is where we place our transition okay let's place it a little bit down so it will not crop the head just like that okay now uh, i will also just connect this to 32 bit color depth so i'm gonna hold alt and click on this here so it will turn into 32 bit color depth and this will important when we add a glow so make sure you have 32 bit color depth okay now i have this phf glitch footage you guys can download this from the link in the description and after you download just drag and drop this to the project panel just like that now i will create a new composition and i will go with full HD resolution and i'm gonna call this glitch map i will go with these settings and i'm gonna hit ok now let's drag and drop our vhf glitch footage right here as you can see it only one second and let's loop this 20 times so i'm gonna go here and click this footage which i need to loop this 20 times and you can just do that by clicking this interpolate footage option and this will give us this dialog so i'm gonna go here and type this 20 if you guys want 50 time loop you guys can just press 50 and then hit ok as you can see now we can just increase the footage duration just like that now i'm gonna select this and go to effect and preset and search for cc reptile effect and just select this double click to apply it so as you can see when we increase this it will fill the background and as you can see now we have this glitch map now i'm gonna go to my main composition right here so i'm gonna just drag and drop this glitch map right here i'm gonna just disable it because we don't need to see it and let's add a new adjustment layer right click new and adjustment layer just bring it to the top now because we need to apply our glitch here so i'm gonna just shorten this layer up like that where we only need to see our transition and just like that now i'm gonna call this glitch effect and now i'm gonna apply this displacer pro plugin so you can go effect and preset and search for displacer pro this is a free plugin from plugin everything uh, you guys can just go here and plugin everything.com and download i will put the link in the description this is free just download it and put it in your program files adobe plugin folder okay and after that you will see this displacer pro effect just type displacer pro and it will show up here and i'm gonna just select this adjustment layer and just double click to apply that displacer pro effect and here in the effect control panel i'm gonna set the map layer to glitch map like that and i will also set this as the effect and mask now you can go to beginning of this adjustment layer and then create a keyframe for the translate x y and the rotate you guys can also just play with the scale anchor x and anchor y okay and now we can also increase this chromatic aberration i will show you after we add our x y rotate and i'm gonna just select this and press u to reveal all the keyframes as you can see now we have these keyframes now i'm gonna go to two second mark and increase these values just play with these values until you satisfied with this okay i will also add some rotation to it just like that now you can go to end of this adjustment layer and copy this first keyframe ctrl c to copy and then ctrl v to paste it here now you should check the footage now you should have this transition like that and i recommend you guys just play with these settings after you satisfied with the glitch, we can add some chromatic aberration. Go here and then increase the red channel as well as the green channel. You can also apply some blue with minus values. This will give us that nice looking color variation, something like that. You can also add some edge behavior as the repeat. Okay, and this will increase some glitch effect. If you guys don't like it, you can just give none. And now let's also add some glow so i'm gonna select this adjustment layer you can go effect and preset and search for glow i'm gonna just double click to apply the glow and let's bring this to top of this effect stack just like that i'm gonna just close this up and let's add some glow radius and glow intensity to get some nice looking glow 
the reason why I showed you that we need 32 bit if you hold all time click as you can see the glow is not intensive if you have 32 bit color depth you can see nice glow here and that's the reason I set it to 32 and now if you check the footage as you can see now you have this rich transition like that I hope you guys uh, learn something new and yeah I will see you guys in the next one peace